Hello, this is David Coyle, and welcome to the next video in our series, Analyzing Public Data Sets, an introduction to IGV Genomic. In our other IGV video, we looked at a single RNA-seq data set aligned to cDNA using BWA. Today, we're going to look at two RNA-seq data sets, both aligned to genomic DNA, this time using a program called TopHat. This alignment can be seen on our previous video about top hat and cufflinks. I've gone ahead and opened IGV already, and I've loaded up the appropriate genome, which I've helpfully titled Rice Test. And this is the same genomic DNA sequence that was used for the top hat alignment to ensure that the file formats are correct for IGV. So we're going to go ahead and open the file. We have rice4.bam and rice5.bam. These are two different genotypes of rice uh, done in the same experiment, which were aligned on Galaxy using Top Hat. To begin with, let's click on chromosome 1 and zoom in. All right, we can see some alignments. The first big difference you'll notice from the cDNA alignment is the presence of introns. In the cDNA alignment, obviously, you don't see introns. Here, in the genomic DNA, you have reads that where part of a read is on either side of an intron. So this line is just showing you that this sequence, which occurs in the genomic DNA, didn't occur in the read but the read matches perfectly to either end. So that's what an intron looks like. So that's one big difference from a cDNA alignment. Also, here we're looking at two different genotypes of rice, and you can see that there are differences in coverage. In some positions, you get similar read distribution. In other positions, for example, down here, you have very good coverage here and almost no coverage here. In our previous video, we discussed how you might use IGV to examine coverage in your sequences at a gene of interest, or how you might use IGV to examine SNPs. And both of those are true here, but here we can also look for alternative RNA splicing. I've gone ahead and found a possible alternative splicing site, and let's go ahead and see if I can find it again. There we go. Okay, you can see here in the bottom alignment, there's a large intron present. There's a number of reads that map across this intron. However, in the top alignment, there are actually reads within that intron. So not only are there no reads that span this space, there are actually reads that map to within this intron. Let's zoom in a little bit. So this suggests that in the bottom case, this sequence is not incorporated, whereas in the top case, this sequence is incorporated in an RNA, which <clears throat> we have reads from. So this is what alternative RNA splicing would look like. As with anything, however, you would want to perform an actual, more rigorous analysis. IGV is useful for looking at the coverage and for doing preliminary analyses on, on genes of interest, see if there's SNPs, alternative splicing, etc. However, you would take a step back, going back to Galaxy and the alignments, to do a more complex analysis, such as where are alternative splicing sites present in the genome, etc. That's all we're going to do in this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.